during the dog days of summer, you wanna lighten up your meals, no better way to do that than with fresh fish on the grill, cook it outside, and I'm with an expert at cooking all things, Rosie Benner. If you ever made a recipe from HEB, you made one of Rosie's recipes for many, many years. This registered dietitian and culinary expert developed recipes for HEB, and we're doing a fun fish dish, right? That's right, we're doing grilled red snapper tacos. And the fish is from Groomers. And I wanted to show you, this is the fish with the scales. It's a red snapper, so you can see it's a lot redder. And then this is the one with the scales taken off. And groomers will take them off for you if you That's don't want right. to, right? Yeah, they will dress the fish completely, take the gills, yeah. everything awesome, off. Guys. And they can even take the, the, the um, bones off of the inside of the fish. Ah, so they'll do all your work for you. That's right. Okay, and that and I think that whole fish can be a little intimidating. When, you know, it's easy to buy the fillets, and that's a great way to do it too, but you can save a lot of money when you buy the whole fish. That's right, and we're going to grill it, so it's gonna be a great flavor. Okay. First, we will slice along the back of the fish. And why are you doing that? And we're doing this so that the fish will cook evenly. And then we have ah. two slices along the inside. And we turn it over and do it the same way again. Putting olive oil all around, inside and out on all the... It'll help keep it moist and also keep all your seasonings on there, Seasonings, right? yeah, right. Do you over-season a little bit since you know it's going on the grill? Yes. And we're, we're going to take, uh, for the inside, two or three sprigs of oregano. This is oregano from my garden that I happen to have. That's why it looks so healthy and big. <laughs> and then we have some thyme, and I'm going to do the same thing. All right. And we're going to stuff it with garlic. Lots of that. And guess what? We have some habanero pepper. Oh, wow and we'll put that in there too. Good thing you're wearing gloves. Right. <laughs> Those things burn. And I'm gonna put a few lime slices inside. And then we also have lemon juice. Oh my, this looks fabulous. And then we'll put lemon juice in the cracks and the slices. And then I'm going to Salt and pepper there. Salt and pepper. Okay, we're ready to put the fish on the grill. And we're gonna put it directly over the hot fire. How long will you cook it? We're gonna cook it with the lid down for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to flip it over for five more minutes and it will be done. And voila, it's beautiful. Oh, and it only took like 15 minutes. And what a wonderful way to have a quick summer meal for your family. Well, and it's just such a beautiful presentation. Now you say another fun thing is to take the grilled fish, which has a lot of that fun uh, grilled flavor and make tacos, right? Yes, you can use some flour tortillas. And of course, we can also have some of this roasted salsa and we're including the recipe for that. Rosie, as always, thank you so much.